Have you ever wondered about the unseen consequences of the constant hum of machinery in our lives? In our modern world, the droning rhythm of industry is inescapable. It's the soundtrack of progress, the symphony of civilization, humming in the background of our daily lives. But what if I told you that this unending orchestra of industrial noise is silently affecting us in ways we hardly recognize? Industrial noise, the unseen character in our daily narrative, is more than just an auditory nuisance. It's an ubiquitous presence, a constant companion in our urban lives. It's the thrum of traffic, the clatter of construction, the drone of air conditioning units, and the incessant hum of factories. It fills our streets, our homes, and even our most secluded spaces with its relentless rhythm. Now, you might be thinking, so what, it's just noise. But the impacts of this noise pollution extend far beyond simple annoyance. Research has shown that constant exposure to such noise can lead to a host of health issues. It's not just about covering our ears or turning up the volume on our headphones. The effects are much more insidious and pervasive. Imagine trying to fall asleep with a constant buzzing in your ear. That's what noise pollution does to us. It disturbs our sleep, but it doesn't stop there. It also raises our stress levels, contributing to heart disease and hypertension. It even affects our cognitive function impairing learning and memory, particularly in children. In short, the unseen impacts of industrial noise are far-reaching and detrimental to our health. It's easy to ignore something as omnipresent as industrial noise. We've grown so accustomed to it that it's become a part of our lives. But it's time we turn our attention to this silent assailant. To understand the gravity of the issue, it's essential that we look at the real-world implications of this constant cacophony. So let's dive deeper. Let's explore the uncharted territory of noise pollution and see how it's silently shaping our world. To truly understand the gravity of the issue, let's dive into some real-world case studies. Imagine living next to a constant, never-ending drone of machinery. Picture this reality for a moment. The incessant hum of heavy industries is an unwelcome soundtrack for the many urban dwellers who call these areas home. Living in the shadow of giant factories, their lives are punctuated by the relentless rhythm of industry. But it's not just a matter of inconvenience or disturbance. This constant exposure to industrial noise has serious implications for their health, and it's not something we can afford to ignore. In the heart of our bustling cities, the silent killer is not something you can see, but something you can hear. It creeps into homes, invades our peace and quiet, and chips away at our well-being. In fact, Numerous scientific studies have spotlighted the dire consequences of living in such noise-polluted areas. One such study published in the British Medical Journal found a clear link between long-term exposure to traffic and aircraft noise and an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. The relentless roar of engines, the clatter of machinery, the endless cacophony of industry, it's not just an annoyance, but a serious health hazard. Another study, this time from the World Health Organization, suggested that prolonged exposure to noise levels above 65 decibels, the equivalent of being in a busy restaurant, can lead to increased blood pressure, sleep disorders, and even cognitive impairment in children. These studies paint a stark picture of the hidden cost of our industrial progress. The factories that power our economies, the vehicles that transport our goods, the infrastructure that underpins our urban life, all contribute to a sonic assault that is silently wreaking havoc on our health. And so the question we must ask ourselves is this, are we willing to pay the price for progress? Are we ready to sacrifice our health for the hum of industry? The sound of progress, it seems, comes with a hefty price tag. But it's not just humans who bear the brunt of our industrial progress. The cacophony of our factories, vehicles, and cities reaches far beyond our urban landscapes impacting the lives of our planet's wildlife in ways we're just beginning to understand. Take birds, for example. These feathered friends who greet us with their melodious songs in the morning are not immune to the clamor of our world. As we build more, drive more, and make more noise, birds are finding themselves having to tweak their songs just to be heard. The sweet sounds that once filled our air are being replaced with louder, more aggressive tunes, a direct response to the noise pollution they face. And it's not just about the aesthetics of bird songs. This change in tune has a significant impact on the way birds communicate, particularly when it comes to mating calls. These calls, once clear and distinct, 
are now being drowned out by the relentless hum of our world making it harder for these creatures to find a mate and continue their species. But the effects of noise pollution aren't confined to the skies. Down on the ground, the constant rumble of machinery and traffic interferes with the delicate, predator-prey relationships that keep our ecosystems balanced. Prey animals such as deer or rabbits rely on the subtle sounds of the forest to alert them to approaching danger. But with the intrusion of industrial noise, these signals get lost, leaving these animals more vulnerable to predators. In the same vein, predators like owls, who depend on their acute hearing to locate their prey, are finding it harder to hunt with the unending drone of our activities echoing in their ears. It's a ripple effect starting with a seemingly innocuous noise and ending with an ecosystem out of balance. The ramifications are far-reaching, affecting every corner of our planet and every creature that calls it home. It appears that our industrial symphony is causing a discord in nature's harmony. The ocean, often seen as a refuge from human noise, is not immune to our industrial cacophony. Imagine a world where your voice is your compass, your lifeline, and your social network. This is the reality for marine creatures, especially for whales and dolphins who rely heavily on sound for communication and navigation. The vast expanse of the ocean has its own natural symphony, a harmonious blend of clicks, whistles, and songs. But this symphony is being drowned out by a cacophony of industrial noise. Ships, oil drilling, sonar, these are the intruders in the ocean's silent concert. The hum of propellers, the clanging of construction, the piercing whine of sonar, these sounds are as intrusive and disorienting to marine life as a blaring siren in the middle of a peaceful night is to us. Sound travels almost five times faster in water than in air, and it travels farther too. For whales and dolphins, who rely on their own unique songs and clicks to communicate, find food, and navigate, this industrial noise is not just a nuisance, it's a threat to their very survival. Imagine trying to shout over a roaring crowd, straining to hear your own voice. That's essentially what these creatures are experiencing. Their voices are being drowned out, their messages lost in the hubbub. They're forced to shout, to repeat their calls, to wait for a lull in the noise. This can lead to stress, confusion, and even physical harm. Whales have been known to beach themselves, a fatal decision, in an attempt to escape the noise. Dolphins, bewildered by the clamor, can lose their way, separated from their pods. These are the unheard cries of the ocean, a silent scream echoing through the depths. The ocean's silent scream is a poignant reminder of the unintended consequences of our progress. We've pierced the ocean's depths with our noise, disturbing the delicate balance of its ecosystem. The depths of our oceans are echoing with the unintended consequences of our progress. Scene script. Faced with these challenges, what can we do to turn down the volume on industrial noise? Indeed, in the face of this invisible invader, we are not powerless. We can orchestrate a symphony of solutions, harmonizing technology, innovation, and responsibility to compose a quieter world. Let's start with the basics. Soundproofing. Just as we insulate our homes to keep the warmth in and the cold out, industries can insulate their machinery to keep the noise in and the peace out. Materials like mass-loaded vinyl, soundproofing foam, and even recycled rubber can help muffle the cacophony of machinery. These materials absorb sound waves, preventing them from escaping into the environment, reducing the overall noise pollution. Then we have quieter machinery. The hum of progress doesn't have to be a roar. Many manufacturers are now designing machinery with noise reduction in mind. For example, quieter conveyor belts, less noisy fans, mufflers on exhaust systems, and low-noise power tools are all part of the orchestra of quieter operation. By choosing these options, industries can significantly reduce their noise footprint. Scheduling is another powerful instrument in our symphony of solutions. By scheduling noisy operations for times when they are least disruptive, industries can be good neighbors. This might mean working during the day when most people are at work or school, or even timing operations to avoid disturbing local wildlife. But let's not forget the role of regulation. Governments can and should play a part in this symphony, setting standards for acceptable noise levels and ensuring industries adhere to them. This can be a powerful motivator for industries to adopt quieter practices. And finally, let's talk about innovation. From the invention of new sound-absorbing materials to the development of AI-driven noise monitoring systems, innovation is leading the charge in the battle against noise pollution. Innovation, it seems, 
can also be the melody of silence. While technology provides a solution, legal measures are often the conductor of this orchestra. In our quest to curb industrial noise, legal frameworks play a pivotal role. Across the globe, nations are rising to the challenge, drafting policies and regulations that keep the clamor in check. In Europe, for instance, the Environmental Noise Directive is a beacon of hope. It mandates that member states map out noise hotspots and devise action plans to reduce noise levels. This legislation has sparked a wave of positive change, encouraging cities to rethink their soundscape. Across the pond, the United States has its own arsenal of noise abatement laws. The Noise Control Act and the Quiet Communities Act are two cornerstone legislations that govern noise pollution. These laws empower local governments to establish standards and regulations, offering the flexibility to cater to their unique urban soundscapes. In Asia, countries like Japan and Singapore have stringent laws against noise pollution. From restrictions on construction noises to regulations on vehicle emissions, these countries are taking a holistic approach to mitigate the noise. But it's not just about laws and regulations, it's about enforcement and public participation too. The effectiveness of these measures is often contingent on public awareness and willingness to comply. In many parts of the world, noise pollution is considered a violation of human rights. The World Health Organization recognizes excessive noise as a severe health hazard, and many legal systems are starting to reflect this view. Yet it's not all smooth sailing, challenges persist. Legal loopholes, lack of enforcement, and disparities in access to quiet spaces are all hurdles on the path to a quieter world. But as we navigate these choppy waters, we are seeing glimmers of hope. From grassroots movements advocating for noise-free zones to innovative policymaking, we are witnessing the dawn of a new era. So as we continue to orchestrate this symphony of solutions, let's remember the critical role of legal measures. They're not just rules, but powerful tools in our fight against noise pollution. Laws then can be the rhythm that keeps our industrial symphony in check. So, where do we go from here in this world filled with the hum of machines? In this journey, we've explored the unseen yet profound impact of industrial noise on our lives. We've delved into the silent killer in urban areas, the toll it takes on wildlife, and even the ocean's silent scream. We've also seen a symphony of solutions and heard the sound of justice. Now as we look to the future, it's clear that the issue of noise pollution is not one we can ignore. The need for continued research is crucial. It's through the tireless efforts of scientists and researchers that we've come to understand the depth of this problem. Yet, there's still so much to learn. How does noise pollution affect us on a molecular level? What are the long-term effects on wildlife populations? Can the damage to marine life be reversed? These are the questions that will drive the next wave of research. Innovation, too, will play a key role in the future of noise. As we've seen, there are already promising solutions in the works. From quieter machinery to urban planning that takes noise pollution into account, the possibilities are endless. The ingenuity of engineers and architects around the world gives us hope that we can build a quieter world without sacrificing progress. Regulation is the third piece of the puzzle. Governments and policymakers must recognize the importance of controlling noise pollution. Just as we regulate air and water pollution, so too must we regulate the noise that fills our world. We need laws that protect not only our peace and quiet, but also the health and well-being of all living creatures. The future of noise is in our hands. It's a challenge, yes, but it's also an opportunity. An opportunity to create a world where the hum of progress doesn't drown out the sounds of life. Perhaps in the future we can all look forward to a world where progress doesn't come with a constant hum.